Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light, we sing to God, the Father, Son, and The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil do. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord. And let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, 
and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Open thy mouth wide, and I, the Lord, will fill it. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony, when he went out through the land of Egypt where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou calledst in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee. O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat. And with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Open thy mouth wide, and I, the Lord, will fill it. Open, O Lord, the mouths of thy humble servants to show forth thy praise that leaving the works of Egypt behind, we may rejoice in the confession of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen.
shower blessed, Redeemer saved with his own precious blood. I love your church, O oh God, its walls before you stand. Dear as the apple of your eye, and graven on your hand. Beyond my highest joy, I prize its heavenly ways, its sweet communion, solemn vows, its hymns of love and praise. Sure as your truth shall last, to Zion shall be given the brightest glories earth can yield and brighter bliss of A reading from St. Matthew, the 13th chapter. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then, in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls who on finding one pearl of great value went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into containers, but threw away the bad. So it will be at the close of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? They said to him, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from George MacDonald from Diary of an Old Soul. Yester eve, death came and knocked at my thin door. I from my window looked. The thing I saw, the shape uncouth, I had not seen before. I was disturbed with fear in sooth, not awe, whereof ashamed, I instantly did rouse my will to seek thee, only to fear the more. Alas, I could not find thee in the house. I was like Peter when he began to sink, to thee a new prayer, therefore I have got, that when death comes in earnest to my door, Thou wouldst thyself go, when the latch doth clank, and lead him to my room, up to my cot. Then hold my child's hand, hold and leave him not, till death has done with him forever. Till death has done with him? Ah, leave me then. And death has done with me, oh, nevermore. He comes and goes. To leave me in thy arms, 
nearer thy heart, O oh, nearer than before, to lay thy child naked, newborn again, of Mother Earth, crept free through many harms, upon thy bosom, still to the very core. George MacDonald In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father. Those who do good work. 
words in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are at rest, let us give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, O God, by your grace. In the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the bearer of God and all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us a place in the new Jerusalem. Grant that we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, may praise you in that city of which he is the light and where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.